the following clip is from a Patreon exclusive. To see the full video and many more, go to patreon.com slash G-E-R-I-M-I and become a subscriber. Um, so in my case, the reason why I chose Z for this is because with me looking at this, I'm kind of viewing this panel here that's red as the front. And I'm thinking that this is the, the surface that is moving. That's the axis that's moving away from me in space. That's just how I'm, I'm imagining it. So that's why I made this my Z axis. Whereas in the other diagram, the one that, that, I, that I have is the X seems like the Z axis. Because in theirs, this panel is facing more towards you. Okay. So, yeah, because I've realized that could be a little bit confusing. Um, so, okay, but the, the larger question. So now that we understand what we mean when we're talking about rotating it around its axis, and that we understand that not just a cube, but every object has an X, Y, and Z axis, which is why people use them in 3D modeling for positioning objects as a way to establish where they are in relation in space. You can say, if I want to turn this, if you're looking at it front, you're like, I want to turn a slide to the right. You can say, all right, I'm going to rotate it around its X axis. You can think about it that way. I find that while I know this cognitively, it's easier for me to think of it in a different way. The way that I tend to deal with rotating objects in space, specifically cubes, but sometimes with other complicated objects too, is first, I'm gonna draw, again, a front view. You know what, let me, let me switch back to the, uh, the different colors. Sorry about the noise in the background, if you guys can hear that. I live next to a fire department, so. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, not tripping. Um, let me go back to uh, the different colors here. So let's say, again, we're drawing a front view, our X, and our Y axis. What I personally, what I find easier mentally to do is I just think about that surface. I don't even think about the whole three-dimensional cube yet. I think about this surface and I think, where am I turning this? Am I turning this to the right? Am I turning this surface to the left? Am I turning it up? Am I turning it down? Oh, so I like, I like that. Because it's, it's just, it's slightly less complicated because yeah. if you know which way you're turning this, once you have this surface in space, you realize that all of the axes, all of the, all of the, the y axes are parallel, all your x axes are per parallel, all of your z axes are parallel. And to be honest, you can, uh, well, I'll, I'll draw that next step. So let's say you decide you're just going to turn it a little bit to the right and just a tiny bit up. So you draw your, uh, your Y axis here. You draw your X axis. So now you've just got this thing just turned. Maybe I even turned it too much. I probably did turn it too much. Let me draw that again, not turned as much. Cause the whole idea of this is, you know, trying to make these subtle distinctions. Let me try this again. So just a little, just a tiny bit of perspective. Now, once you have this, it's, let me bring it close as you can see, compared to the one above it, it's just a little bit of a slant. It's slanted just slightly. Okay. You know that if you put that other one that's behind it now, it's just going to be a little bit slanted like that. And the same with your, uh, your other x-axis that's not hidden, is it's just going to be down a little bit. But they're, they're pretty much parallel. And then it just becomes a game of connect the dots. And again, if you want to draw through, you can very lightly, which this helps with you thinking about it so, in, a, in terms of keeping it solid. Yep. Is, you know, the, the drawing through, you don't necessarily need to do this if you're, you know, drawing in terms of finishing. But when you're blocking forms in and constructing them, it is very useful, you know, always to, to just draw through 
They can very lightly, again, at this point, it just becomes connecting the dots. So that's what I, that's how I try to handle the whole idea of, instead of thinking about the axis of the entire cube, you're, you're, you're trying to juggle the whole thing at once. And if you just get one surface facing the way you want, you're pretty happy. And the other thing is, if this surface, let's say that you do something extreme. Let me do another one here now. So this one right here, that's pretty extreme, right? Right. But because you've figured all of this out, you can kind of say, all right, turn that far. You're actually looking at more of the, uh, the side of the object than you are looking at the front. So this Z axis actually might be kind of on the long side here. Now at this point, it doesn't really matter. You're not thinking about the axis. You're just thinking about completing the cube. If this side is that shallow, then you just sort of draw the x-axis out until it looks about right. And that's really what it comes down to. Then it's just, it's not even about getting the cube perfect. It's about making the other panels fit the first panel that you drew. And yeah, I've got it running into that, that cube. I drew them too close together. But, you know, that happens. It's okay. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see the full video, head on over to patreon.com slash Jeremy and become a subscriber.